Okay, okay, okay. I stop. The art of storytelling. How do we begin telling stories? That's the question, right? Let me, let me give you an example. Yaki bood, yaki nab. There was and there wasn't. One day, one fine day, stories were created. Wise and wistful stories. Stories that have moved from heart to heart, mind to mind. Calligrapher to calligrapher, poet to poet, painter to painter, language to language, land to land. Voice to voice and soul to soul. Stories that have traveled from India to Iran, to Syria, to Palestine, Morocco, Egypt, England, Italy, and more. Stories that were known as Panchatantra, Kalile Vademne, Anwar Yesoheli, the fables of Bidapi, Pilapi, and more. Stories that were heard in Sanskrit, in Persian, Arabic, Hebrew, in Chinese, Vietnamese, and more. Stories. This was rather a very long introduction to the animal fables that I have been narrating here and there for many years, both in English and in Persian. The beginning of a story requires a um, lot of attention. In fact, it deserves a special place. It needs to have the right balance. But what does it mean, the right balance? It needs to break the rhythm and grab the viewer's attention. But at the same time, it needs to open windows, windows to wonders, to imagination, to new questions. In other words, it needs to be loud, but at the same time, gentle and subtle. To cut the long story short, the beginning of a story is a precious time. It is when we all come together, make an intention and begin a journey. A journey to the seen and unseen, heard and unheard, touched and untouched places, both around us and most importantly, within us. Thank you for listening.